The British Academy of Film and Television Arts celebrates the success of Downton Abbey, the best of British drama and a show that we have all taken to our hearts. To present the BAFTA Special Award, one of our finest actors. Fittingly, she can play upstairs as well as down. She's at home playing comedy as well as the most nuanced drama. And of course, she is herself a multi-BAFTA award winner. Will you please welcome the wonderful Julie Walters. <laughs> delighted to be here tonight to present this very special award on behalf of the British Academy of Film and Television Arts. The show is loved all over the globe and here are just a few of the people who, like me, have loved the last six seasons of Downton. When I first heard Downton Abbey was to receive the BAFTA Special Award, I was absolutely thrilled. It is one of Catherine's and my favourite programmes. Fan of Downton Abbey. I'm obsessed with Downton Abbey. An avid watcher, great fan of the show. I watched the entire series, didn't miss one episode. It's like a movie. It's like a, an incredibly gorgeous film. Is it too late to audition for the show? Well, I could just be the black man that showed up, you know, Lord Combs. Downton's so special for me because of the storylines. The storylines just pull you back in. One of the things that makes Downton so special to watch is just the performances. You just fall for these characters and everyone's playing them with such integrity. The show was excellent. The writing was incredible. I'm a fan of British actors and their style of acting and the effortlessness of it. We saw ourselves, I think, in each of these characters, some part of ourselves. And so that's, I think, why people gravitated towards it. This BAFTA is really a thank you, I think, from the whole world to this cast and to Julian, because it's, it's superb. It is a, a remarkable achievement. Congratulations, Julian, and everyone. Thank you for allowing me to watch you guys be brilliant actors and that great writing has not gone away. Thank you. As the president of BAFTA, I'm delighted that we're paying tribute to this extraordinary series that has flown the flag for British drama, both at home and internationally. Few British series have ever managed to achieve such worldwide acclaim, and many millions of people, myself included, have enjoyed the life and times of the Crawley family. My congratulations to everybody at Downton Abbey, and as a fan, thank you. This award is presented in recognition of the outstanding global success of Downton Abbey. This recognition from the Academy today is testament to its huge popularity with audiences in Britain and around the world, and shines a light on the incredible achievements of the whole cast and crew. Downton Abbey is a genuine global phenomenon and we'll miss it when it's gone. This award is very, very much deserved. So please, can I ask Gareth Neem, Julian Fellow, Liz Trudridge and the cast of Downton Abbey to come up on the stage. much indeed to the Academy for this very special award. You've seen Downton Abbey has won so many awards right around the world, but this is a British show and for us to be presented with such a prestigious award here at home, it really means more than anything else. So many thank yous this evening, but firstly, Julian, we, we talk of your talent creating the show, the characters, these wonderful scripts. Truly, none of this would have happened without you.
to my fellow producers, Liz Truebridge, Nigel Marchant and Chris Croucher, to all these fantastic actors, to our directors and each and every member of our outstanding and dedicated crew. But most of all, to our fans in Britain, as well as right around the world, thank you for coming with us on this journey and for welcoming the Crawley family into your own homes. We're sorry that we're coming to the end of the show right now, but we're only here in the first place because of all of you. You know, I'm often asked, what exactly does a producer do? In fact, I'm sure there's quite a few of you in the stalls who may still be wondering the very same thing. <laughs> Obviously, now is not the time to go into the answer, but I do want to say two things on the subject. The first is that, as a species, we tend to work at our best behind the camera. And so you will correctly conclude that right now I am not in my natural habitat. <laughs> Which leads me to the second point I would like to make. A good producer needs to know when to delegate. And luckily for me, I find myself surrounded by people who can perfectly perform the next very important task. So I am going to turn to our cast, led by the head of the Downton household, our very own Lord Grantham, Hugh. Thank you. Now, uh, okay, which camera's on? Okay, I'm looking at you, our audience at home, because you have either taken to heart the characters that we play, or you've taken to throwing things at the telly on a Sunday evening. Either way, we on this stage are the visible faces of Downton Abbey, but there are hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of people you don't see and to whom we owe more than you will ever know. But on behalf of all of us on this stage and this cast, thank you all for your part in making this an unforgettable adventure. So please, will the crew please stand up? Come on, stand up. And... Ladies and gentlemen, the crew of Downton Abbey. Congratulate the cast and the crew of Downton Abbey, a very well-deserved award. As we prepare to say goodbye to the Crawley family, we're going to end this evening by looking back at some of the most memorable moments from the show. Don't forget to watch the last ever episode on Christmas Day. And from everyone here, good night. It's been an extraordinary thing to be a part of. And now it's coming to an end. It's going to feel very strange. I think the moments that I'll most remember are a sudden unexpected kiss, the Turk dying in a bed. I'll be blind to my mom. Oh, Edith has had a lot of heartache. What do you think? I can't do it. I've loved playing all of Rose's loves. Oh, darling. And there's been quite a few. Paddling in the sea was a treat. You can always hold my hand if you need to feel steady. That's one of the slowest burning romances of all time. You managed to make that sound a little risque. <laughs> my introduction to Violet was pretty wonderful. What should we call each other? Well, we could always start with Mrs. Crawley and Lady Grantham. With Richard E. Grant, when uh, we had our sort of handbags at dawn moment, and I apologise here on television, Richard, for cracking your rib. Did you really? Yes. You did? I would a night. I'm not going to give anything away, but I can tell you that I read the Christmas special and I could feel myself filling up. Mr. Mosley. Yes? After, like, years and years of nobody touching each other, it could be lots of... <laughs> I have to confess, when I first got the script, I turned straight to the last page, and it made me smile. Yeah. I can't imagine it finishing yet. It's so strange. I'll miss him. <laughs> of course you will, my lord. They made me think of you.
I miss getting a new script every so often, sitting with my cup of tea and going from page one to the end to see what happens to everybody. Summing up the last six years of Downton, it has just been enormous fun. I feel really happy that I've been part of it and I'll be so sad for it to finish. My lasting memory from being in Downton was, wasn't I lucky? <laughs> <laughs>